calling out all WP developers out there, this is going to interest you. It's called Instant WP, and it's a project delivery tool for your WordPress development. It's going to help you learn, manage, experiment, and deliver your WordPress developments. So it's super easy to use, and I'm going to show you all of this on this video. So follow me to my desktop right now. What's up, SaaS masters and developers? Like I said, this is called Instant WP, and if you want to check it out, link we provided in the description. Now, one of the things that I like about Instant WP that it's super easy to use, that even us that are non developers can actually use this. And if you are a developer, it can get as complex as you would like. So it has all the bells and whistles that you're going to need for experimenting, delivering, managing, etc., all from Instant WP. Now, let me go jump over to my dashboard, and this is Instant WP. Now, in this case, I have three sites that I am working on. And what I want to do is show you how easy it is to launch one of these test sites and how complex it can get when you need to start experimenting and checking this out. So let's go ahead and launch a new site really quickly. So in this case, I have several options. I can start from scratch, a template or a store. So if you're a developer, you probably want to create a template with your plugins that you have available already or all the changes that you need to have ready when you want to launch this. So you don't have to start from scratch every single time or trying to clone somewhere else this site. It's super easy to do it here in Instant WP. So in this, this case, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to keep it like this. This is the WordPress uh, version that I want to use, the PHP version and launch the US site name. I'm just going to say test 2222. Okay. And this is not going to be a reserved site. So that means that it will be deleted later on. And it's going to start the installation process. And that's how easy it is to launch a WordPress site. Now, if you have everything ready to go with your testing, with your plugins in your template, then it's going to be super easy to get started. Now, once you want to get into the complex features of Instant WP, that is going to be also super easy. This is easier than any BPS manager that I've seen out there, even share hosting, etc. It's way easier to do it from here. So the site is ready. So I can go into my database. I can go to code editor, view logs, etc., or my magic login just to go log in really quickly. But I'm not going to use the site for now. I'm going to use one of the ones that I have already. So when I click on more actions, you're going to see that there's several options available. First of all, we got the versions. So in versions, if I want to create a new version for this, I can do so here. It creates a snapshot of what I currently have right now, and I can go ahead and start testing over and over again in case I need to do changes, modify, and then come back to the version. Okay. There's also the PHP configuration. So again, super easy to come in here and do the configuration. Let's just say that right now I want to use 8.3 because this is the latest version. I want to make sure that my theme is working okay, that the plugin or maybe my client side is working fine. Then I can go ahead and tweak all of this, save it and do my testing. Okay, let me go back. Then I have the view credentials. So if I want to log into the specific site, here's the username and password, super easy, or I can use a magic link. Then I have the migrate for V3. So that means that I can migrate the website. So if you need to migrate to a live site, to your client site, etc., you can do it from here. You can use an existing live site or create a new live site all from inside of here. Next, we have the commands. So if you need to launch, launch some commands here, that's how easy it is. Like I said, if you want to use this on cPanel, if you want to do this on server avatar, if you want to do this on Plesk, etc., you got you have to go to a bunch of settings just to get to there. So this is super easy to do it here. Export as, you can do it as local WP. You got tools, you got the database editor. So if I click on it, here we go. I can go ahead and edit the database right from here. So if I want to click on this specific, specific database, I can alter the table and start modifying it from here. Check, that was super easy, right? Then we have more tools here. You got view logs to know what's going on. The code editor, so you have two options. You can download the extension if you want to use VS or you can do the web editor. Let's just say I don't want to install anything. I'm traveling, I'm a nomad, and I don't want to have something installed on the computer that I'm using. I can edit straight from here. Let me go ahead and open this file and boom, I can start editing these files right here. Again, super easy and way easier than any other developer tool that I've seen. So let's see more tools. You got your protect site if you want to protect it, the site uses stats and install plugins right from here. You got deployments. If you want to install some Git deployments, you can do it from here. Again, that's pretty cool that we have that there. Next, we have a clone. Obviously, that's straightforward. If you want to delete it, you got your surfix domain, your SFTP settings. So if you want to log into the site via SFTP, here's the credentials. That's easy, right? If you want to use SSH, if you want to enable that, boom, you can use it from here and add the SSH key. Super easy, right? Let's go back. 
Next we have is map domain. If you want to map this domain, you can do so through here, point it to CNAME, etc., by mapping it through here by using InstaWP's system. It's super easy to use. Now, if you need to view the site, just go ahead and click on this right here. And here's a site. And if I need to log in, I can go ahead and use the credentials or use the magic link. So here's the auto login. Go ahead and log in. You don't need to go put in your credentials. Just do it from here. So once everything is ready to go and you like how it looks, go ahead and migrate it. It's as easy as that. You can learn, you can test, you can beta test, you can make sure that everything is working fine before you actually send this into a live site. So if you are a theme developer, if you're a plugin developer, if you're a website developer, this is going to be a great tool. Now I can't emphasize how easy this is because I've used several other tools like Plesk, Server Avatar, cPanel, and this way makes things super easier. Now, if time is essential for you, this is a great tool to use for your development needs. So like I said, if you have templates that you need to build with your plugins and everything you need to build in, you can do it from here. If you need to do connections, hosting, your WAS, and your settings, all from here, you can go ahead and match everything that you need to do here in InstaWP. But there you go. If you want to check it out, link we provided in the description. And that's a wrap for InstaWP.